So we're picking back up with our analogy of the breakdown of the energy levels. And so what we have at this point is our apartment building with our ground floor. And it has a second floor and a third floor at this point. So remember that what we were saying is the energy levels are broken down into sublevels. And the sublevels are S, P, D, and F. And the sublevels are broken down into orbitals. And there's either one, three, five, or seven orbitals, depending upon which sublevel it's in. They match up directly like this. S has one orbital, the P sublevel has three, the D has five, and the F has seven. And so what we had here was our first floor only has the S sublevel. And it's a one bedroom apartment, so I've left it as like an open space. The second floor has an S and a P. Now remember, this was according to what we had earlier, that energy level two has the S and the P sublevels. So here's apartment S, and it's a one bedroom, so I didn't make any divisions. Here's apartment P. Apartment P has three bedrooms, so the, the P sublevel has three bedrooms. So I divided it up into one, two, three bedrooms. The third floor has the S, the P, and the D sublevels. So the S is a one-bedroom apartment, the P is a three-bedroom, and the D is a five-bedroom. Now we could keep going with this. According to our thing earlier, the fourth has the S, the P, the D, and the F. So we would have to divide these up, but now it's going to get really difficult to divide these. Um, I could do the P in one color, so we could do the P in maybe yellow. So the P has three bedrooms. There's one, two, three. <clears throat> and then the D has five, so approximately five bedrooms there. One, two, three, four, five. And then the F is going to get quite interesting. I'm not sure if I can even do it. One, there's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, that just fit. So our fourth energy level has all four different types of apartments, and each type of apartment has a different number of rooms. The S has one, the P is a three bedroom, the D is a five bedroom, and F is a seven bedroom. Now, this is a very loose analogy. Um, I think it helps you kind of understand how all of this stuff breaks down. And then keep in mind that we said earlier that each orbital can have two electrons, just two, mind you. So in this, two electrons can live here, one, two. Two electrons can live in this one. Two electrons can live in each bedroom. So if you match back up with our numbers, the first energy level only had two electrons. Check right there. The second energy level could have eight. Two, four, six, eight. Oops, went the wrong way. See, right there, eight. Let's see if 18 is in the next one. So there'd be two in this one. There'd be two, two, two. There's eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can't count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So there's 18 in the third level. And we could do the same thing with the fourth level, and we would see that it would end up with 32, just like our screen over here shows. Okay, so loose analogy, think of the apartment building. What I don't want you to do is on a test, I don't want you to tell me that energy levels are made up of apartments or that sublevels are made up of rooms. You need to use the specific words that are used here. Energy levels are made up of sublevels, and sublevels are made up of orbitals, okay? But this should kind of help give you a picture of what it looks like. <clears throat> so now it's practice time. And, and practice time for this is going to involve you trying to identify different things, like practice with things like what types of energy levels are in the, like N equals 3. Well, I mean, you're either going to have to use your notes or you're going to have to work to memorize some of it first. I told you earlier that it would go in order. So if you have all three sublevels, then it would be S. P and D. They have to go in that order. If you have N equals 6, then you're going to have to do some thinking. You might have to write down that the first one has 1, the second one has 2, the third has 3, the fourth has 4, and then it repeats. From there it goes backwards. So this would be energy level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, the 6 energy level has 3 sublevels. So I start with S, 
and then P, and then D, and then I stop. Okay, there's, there's three. <clears throat> there is going to be a decent bit of memorizing that goes with this, and then you're going to have to bring this information back up in order to do these problems. Now, we're going to do more with this later. In the next module, we're going to learn how to basically take this apartment building and tell the locations of all of the electrons that are in it. There's got to be a faster way, and I'll give you some shortcuts, but I really need you to understand the concept of the energy levels, the sublevels, and the orbitals in order to do the shortcut ways. Now, I have a feeling this is probably going to make some questions in your mind. Um, please use the power of video to go back and rewatch these, and then please use me to ask questions. So um, hopefully between all of this together, we'll get you on board with all of these weird numbers and letters things so that we can go on to module two. Let me know what I can help you with.